Hello, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. I pray that all is well with everyone. Um, it's snowing out here where I am. They're talking about a little Norwegian. A Norwegian um, Some places are going to get it worse than us However guys right Let me open up in prayer Father God we ask that you first Forgive our sins, trespasses and our shortcomings God forgive us first of all For being disobedient to you and your word God the things that you told us um, To do and we went the other way God we're asking that you forgive us God not just forgive us But God please put us on the right track Um in our destiny, God, put us on the right track to our destiny in the things that you have for us. God, and don't allow us to waver. God, we just want to thank you for loving us and giving us another chance to get it right. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, God, so what's making me do this video, right? So I had a client yesterday who um, came in um, for anger management counseling. Um, so one thing that I do you guys need to know um, I don't know about my God, right? Um, so I always pray before an appointment come in and ask the Holy Spirit to lead me uh, for answers because it's not me. Remember when I told you guys that counseling is the outside surface, but God is the inside root cause of what's going on. He knows what's going on. And a lot of times we want counseling which put um, antibiotic on the outside when we need to be healed from the inside through Christ, right? So I try to uh, put the two together, right? Because I want people to be healed and take their life back. So she came in anyway and she made an appointment with me. Um, and she was saying she has anger management. So I always let a person, um, you know, tell their story of whatever it is that they're going through. Give me a little bit background, relationship, where they are now, and this, this, and that. So one of the questions that I asked her is, uh, why do you feel that you are angry? So she began to tell me, you know, why she felt like she was angry. Um, and guys, it, it wasn't. And I said, okay, I'm saying this to myself. As she's talking, I'm praying and I'm like, Holy Spirit, I need clarity on what this is because we can label ourselves from what other people label us, right? Um, so she didn't know the guy that she was dealing with was a narcissist. Um, but because she's still in love with him and they're not together and it's been um, a couple of years, but he just reached out to her. Um, I... She was making excuses for him and she was like, well, no, you know, he wasn't a bad person um, at home, but he did cheat with most of the women in our neighborhood. And this. So I'm looking like, oh, my God. So, OK, so I say that to say all of that. The young lady did not have anger issues, right? There is a such thing, people, and I've been through this, and I'm sure you've been through this, and it just feels so good to be able to put a label on what you're going through to deem you not crazy. Guys, it's not to the point that we had anger issues. There is something that's called reaction abuse, right? And I thank God for the Holy Spirit um, allowing me to do research and hear other people's testimony in this. So I'm going to break it down and I'm going to add my little twist on it on what the Holy Spirit has given me. So reaction reaction abuses. So remember times when I would tell you the narcissist would do this to me. He would do things to push my button and like keep pushing my button and I'm calm and I'm like no babe you know it wasn't like that no babe let me understand no babe I don't think you're stupid matter of fact babe I think you're brilliant and then he, the, the narcissist just keep going on and pushing you and pushing you oh my god and then all of a sudden you explode you explode and you go off and you dig up words you didn't even feel like you still had and you go off and the narcissist will stop and look at you and say oh you're crazy I knew it 
and see and and explaining it to people and even another form of reaction abuse you crying to your friends ah no and and i hate him and you telling the narcissist i hate him i hate her oh my god will she just leave will you just leave me alone people just see that part but they don't see the reaction that caused you to get to that point. So guess what, guys? It does make it seem like we're the crazy ones. We're the drama queens. We're the ones um, that's taking it too far because nobody ever see what brought us to that point. But the narcissist. And the narcissist is going to um, definitely say that we're crazy. But another thing of reaction abuse what causes it when you're dealing with trauma trauma have triggers and a reaction abuse can cause a trigger in your trauma so whether some people may not yell and scream but you may just say if at one point before you met the narcissist him or her you was having a glass of wine just say once a month twice a month when you would give yourself that bubble bath or when you was with that your girlfriend now you meet the narcissist now you you started drinking every weekend when you get upset um now you need a drink every time you and the narcissist get in an argument and he, he or she is belittling you. Now your drinking is excessive. But guys, guess what? That's reaction abuse as well. Um, you start drinking more when you got with the narcissist because of the trauma that he is taking you through. Now, people just see this. Oh, you drinking more than usual. I remember when you used to only drink. And I'm not talking about me because I'm not a drinker. Um, but for people... Um, and, and people notice that part, but they never notice, yo, he or she got to be taking her through the ringer because she's drinking or he's drinking excessively. Um, another form of reaction um, abuse could be um, cutting, anxiety. Um, you hyperventilating. Every time the narcissist take you through these emotions, you... Everybody don't always scream. Everybody don't always um, drink. Uh, what about if you smoking cigarettes? Or what if you were smoking black and mouse? Or you were smoking weed and it wasn't that much. It was sociable. You was a sociable smoker. But now you see to calm your nerve or even to deal with the narcissist. Either you smoking cigarettes, black and mouse and weed more frequently than you usually did in meeting a narcissist. That is also... Um, reaction abuse the only way and i want you guys to please share and like this video the only way i could describe it is my mother bought me a teapot right my mom bought me a teapot and i'm sorry someone's calling me my mom bought me a teapot because when my mom comes to my house she loved to make her coffee a tea so what happens when you fill up a teapot right you put the water in the teapot you put it on the stove but you don't have to stand and watch the teapot because when the teapot um and the water is ready and it it boils it's like one of them chimney things on a choo-choo train. It lifts up when the tea is at its boil and it makes a... It takes it to its max of boiling. So now it makes a sound. Guys, that's us. When the narcissists take us to the max, we have a sound. We have a reaction. Guys... I pray that in this, this is helping you. And a lot of times too, it causes you to um, be mean to family members and you don't know why. And family and friends are not picking up on it. <coughs> They'll be quick to say, oh, well, I ain't him and I ain't do that to you. But nobody's not realizing we're suffering trauma from reaction abuse. You understand what I'm saying? So, guys, I pray that in this season and even me, because I'm not as bad as I was before, but I used to act out on my emotions when I was angry. Um, one thing I used to tell people, people don't just scream and holler without something hurting them right um to every um action that's caused there's a reaction you can't step on my feet and foot 
or my feet and tell me how to say ouch. You can say, oh, I ain't even step on it that hard. Oh, you drama. Well, it's my toe. How you gonna tell me what hurt my toe? You 450 pounds stepping on my toe, talk about something, you ain't step on it that hard. Sis, bruh, you 450 pounds, even if you made a mistake and stepped on my toe, on your lightest days, you 450 pounds, it hurt. So I get so tired of people telling people, like, reactions to certain things oh you're just drama that's because they don't see the action that calls our reaction abuse cry out i'm gonna call it a cry out it's a cry out and the narcissist is good for taking your character let me tell you something guys please don't feel like for one minute you cry and i love you guys so much because I've been through this. I don't want nobody to ever experience this hurt. I experience. But please don't think for one minute. You crying and pouring your heart out. To this demon of a narcissist. Whether it's a male or a female. That they're sympathetic. To your emotions. Guys. They get energy. Those demons feed. Off of your reaction. When you give this, have the large coffee, yes, they see off of this reaction when you give it to them. Matter of fact, inside, or um, some some narcissists are just rude and they doing this. There we go. I knew it was going to come out sooner or later, and they the ones that bought it out. You understand what I'm saying? Like there is nothing. Thank you. There is nothing that you can do, guys. Thank you. There is nothing that you can do and try to make the narcissist feel bad for you when they are the ones initiating the action that they want. They know exactly what they're doing because their job is to let you feel like you're crazy because they know they're crazy. And this is called reaction abuse. It'll cause you to become um, 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 addicted to many things because you just want the pain to stop. You just want to feel understood. But guys, I pray that you seek the Lord um, and get renewed because reaction abuse is worse than, than physical abuse to me because reaction abuse is from the inside and it's like you screaming to the point you causing yourself to have a migraine you're screaming in the inside and all you want is the pain to stop but yet it seemed like it's never going to stop and you feel like seem like the crazy one to the world because you're yelling and you're the one that's talking the loudest but people don't see Everything that's going on in the trauma that you are facing, not only from this narcissist, but from family members, from people sweeping things under the rug about you being molested and touched. And everybody want to keep everything a secret, but it's costing you your sanity. Guys, tell your story, please. It's healing and telling your story. I'm telling you, no matter what it is, your husband treat, cheating on you. That's trauma. You being in an abusive parental relationship. That's trauma. You being abused by a family member. That's trauma. And there is reaction abuse that comes with this. We don't want to be like this, so leave us alone. Guys, no longer will I be silent about how I feel. Better yet, I do you one better. If I see that you're capable of, of taking me out of character, um, I'm not all the way healed and I don't need to be um, in your space and you don't need to be in my space because never again will nobody have control over my emotions like that I'm giving everything to God God controls it is because of him I live and move and have my being and anything extra than that that's going to cause me mental anguish I can't afford it 
and I will not do it. I don't care who it is. My mother, my kids, my sisters, my brother. I'm not doing it. The way you will know that your peace is being interrupted, first you got to get peace, right? And then when somebody come into your space that don't have no peace and they're interrupting your peace, you'll realize that something is off. And if something is off from your peace, guys, that's a red flag. You could take it or leave it. Why do we want to keep being trauma bond to something that's killing us? Why? That's like because you like a cast on your leg or your arm. In order to keep getting a cast on your arm, you got to keep breaking something. That's insanity. Breaking your arm or your leg or your hand. That's painful to have a bone to pop out of place and have to get a cast on it. But after a while, if it keeps being broken in the same spot, it causes a deformity. It does no longer, it does not heal the same anymore. Guys, that's with us spiritually. If we keep allowing these demons to break us, our healing process um, becomes longer and we lose hope and we feel like we are just in this world alone and there is no hope for us. And that's a lie. That's why we can't keep getting broken or being broken by these demons. We cannot allow that. I don't care who it is. If your dog is, it, it keep humping on something in your house, that's a spirit. I don't care who don't believe it. Put it out. It's a spirit of perversion. It ain't a normal for a dog to keep grabbing stuff. And and I'm guys, I'm so fed up with this. If it's interrupting your place of peace, get rid of it. Take your character back. Don't allow the and then when you get strong with the narcissist, they are gonna discard you. And they're gonna feel like I'm going to come back when I feel like she missed me. And I'm going to come back with a love bombing again, only to break you down again. Only to give, get you, um, give you reaction abuse again. You understand what I'm saying, guys? So, yes, we have a valid excuse for our yelling, our irateness. We had a valid excuse for that. So, guys, we don't got to go through that. We're not crazy. People cause us mental anguish, um, and we and we taking it back. We're taking our mind back. We're taking our strength back in the name of Yahshua. That's what we're going to do. We're no longer giving it to these demons. Seek Christ in all things. Pray about everything. I don't care what it is. A guy or a girl come in your space and they, they want your number. Pray and ask God, God, who sent them or her? And God will be like, no. But God, they they a pastor. God will be like, I said no. And then like that girl on Instagram, I love this video. God be like, no, this is so me. She turned around like, well, I'm going to see. And left. <laughs> and went. And dated, only to come back to God like, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Is it too late? Guys, so reaction abuse, it is a real thing. And it is caused by that demon and anybody else that, that has power over. Anything that has power over is witchcraft. So, guys, I love you. Please share and like this video. Let your friends know they ain't crazy. So, if you can't support them, get out the way. Um, But don't. If you don't understand, I get it. But don't call somebody crazy and you don't know their story or what they've been through. On the outside to the world, yes, it looks like that. But now, guess what? If you ever dealt with a narcissist, you was in some type of abuse. Whether it's physical, mental, reactional abuse, you was in an abuse. So guess what, guys? You are a DV client. You are a client of domestic violence. So guys, I love you. I pray um, that your day go well. Remember, today is a good day to have a great day. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. Um, pray, repent, and fast. Fast, pray, and repent in whatever order you want to put it in. But guys, it's time.
It's time to do it. And another thing, sidebar, something is coming. I don't know if people can feel the shift in the atmosphere, but I need you to stay prayed up. Um, people res um, fell into anxiety because of COVID, but what is getting ready to come is going to shake the nation. I don't know what it is. Um, God didn't release me to tell the dream. Um, one dream I told that he gave me like a couple of years ago and he brought it back to my remembrance. But guys, please stay prayed up. Some things that we're bickering about don't even matter. Um, um, the more I get in God, the more my appetite change for the things of the world. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want the things of the world. I want the things of God. Uh, we are to, uh, want the things above because this worldly things, they're not going to last. So I just want to thank you guys for listening. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I thank you guys for, um, those of you have, who have so monetary into uh, my cash app, I really appreciate you. Um, guys, thank you to the old subscriber. You're my angels. You're always supporting and um, um, watching. Um, please share and like. I love you guys. Please have a wonderful day. Today is Friday, um, January 28th, 2022, y'all. It's almost February. Um, love you guys.